You mentioned fertility and the misinformation around yeah. that, yeah. Um, and you said uh, social media is perpetuating a lot of that, but we've actually had reports that some health professionals, like people's GPs, are actually advising them to wait to get the vaccine because of potential fertility issues and even freeze their eggs or their sperm. What would you say to those um, medical professionals who might be telling people this? Um, what I would say um, is that, uh, what I'd say more broadly to the community is that the very best of the very best advice um, comes from the, uh, the body referred to as the um, National Centre for uh, Immunisation Research and Surveillance. Um, I spoke personally this morning to Professor Christine McCartney, who is part of that uh, body. She's a director at that body, and she's also part of the professional advisory group, uh, a target to the federal government. And uh, the advice is as I gave it earlier. Um, and I say to those uh, medical professionals who may not have caught up with that advice, to please catch up with that advice before you give any further advice to your patients, particularly GPs. GPs are obviously very busy people um, and uh, they may or may not have caught up with uh, the latest advice. But at the end of the day, what I would say too is that uh, to individuals, of course, you have to take your particular medical professional's advice, but uh, perhaps you could just query when they give you that advice, if they do, and I haven't heard of that, but if they have, then just ask whether they have been made aware of the information that comes from that particular centre. Many